Deadly plane crash in New Jersey. Two men killed on a flight to Cape Cod. The small Beechcraft plane went down just after takeoff. Katie Brace is in Hyannis tonight with more on the crash. We now know two men flying here to the Barnstable Airport were killed when their plane went down in New Jersey. Investigators have yet to release their identities. This is what was left of a small twin engine plane when it crashed shortly after takeoff. A responding officer summed it up in one word. Unidentifiable. The plane carved a path through a field and went across a road before coming to a halt in the woods. Witness photos show the debris field. It looked like it was trying to make emergency landing from what I seen. Uh, it hit low, the trees low, like it was and it skimmed across the road and landed on the other side. The plane was a six-seater Beechcraft Baron. It left from South Jersey Regional Airport mid-morning, heading to this hangar at the Barnstable Airport. With a destination of Hyannis, Massachusetts. Eight miles from takeoff, it went down in Springfield Township, New Jersey, which is northeast of Philadelphia. I heard something like a plane coming, coming in fast, like it was crashing. The control tower reported the plane had disappeared from radar. Once it hit the ground, several people made 911 calls. Paul Batchelor was golfing nearby when he heard a sound he will not forget. I was on the back nine. I actually heard the engine. I didn't really hear struggling, uh, but I did uh, just hear humming. And then next thing I know, I heard a thud. I didn't hear a crash, but just a thud. No one on the ground was hurt. The NTSB is still in New Jersey investigating the cause of the crash. In Hyannis, Katie Brace, WBZ News. It is dangerous.